Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam, this is Phil, and together we are Bars and Barbells, and today we have someone new on the channel that we have never done, which is Joe Cocker. That's right. I have seen Joe Cocker in the comments before, and mm. when are we going to get to Joe Cocker? Um, to be honest, it was hard to find a place to start with him. It seems like his most popular performances are live performances, okay. and I think what we were reading was that he's also well known for his live performances. Okay. So um, we tend to like to start with a studio version because generally speaking, the studio is going to capture what the artist sounds like. It's going to capture the first experience of everybody else that listened to the song for the first time and that's what we try to do on this channel yeah. right is listen to it the first time the way you guys would have listened to it the first time however with joe cocker it seems like this is going to be a little more nuanced approach and so we're doing you are so beautiful live in berlin now you are so beautiful i believe i'm going to recognize that song and i'm 100 sure you are going to recognize the song <laughs> I don't really know what to expect, but he thinks I know it, so we'll see. Yeah, I think this is a song that's super, super popular. From what I understand, Joe Cocker did not write this song. Mm, so um, this is just I, him performing a cover of a song already existed. That was written by somebody else. Okay. But I think he did record a version of this, whether it was they just put a live version on a studio album or whatever. I think there is a recorded version from Joe Cocker out there. But anyways, I wanted to check him out because I've heard so many things about him. Uh, I've heard people say that he's got a great voice. And um, like I said before, people on the, in the comment section were like, when you got to get to Joe Cocker. Nice. I think he we also has, arrived. I think he also has a Woodstock performance that yeah, I cool. saw. Um, can't remember what the name of the song is, but I think that was one of the ones that people were suggesting that we do. But as I was just saying, I don't like to jump into live performances right off the bat. So maybe this will give us a better feel for Joe Cocker. And then we can do the Go Woodstock performance after that. But we always yeah. appreciate your insights. Yes. I've been rambling, but you don't know. <laughs> Joe, Joe Cocker, right? No, I've never even heard the name, so I have no idea what we are in for here. But before we get into the actual video, we also have a pop quiz question for you guys. And we want to know what famous animated character was he often referred to as, as a nickname? Yeah. He had a nickname related to an animated character. Yeah. If you guys know what that is, drop it down low in those comments. Which is funny because I've never heard of the animated character either. So, yeah. Well, we're learning on this channel. <laughs> yeah. If you like to learn as well, you should be a part of this community because we got pop quizzes. You never know when you're going to have them because that's why it's a pop quiz. And uh, we always check out new, new content. We're doing music, comedy, sports, and history now. So mm -hmm. um, we'd love to have you as a part of the community. If you want to join, hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you enjoy this video, Remember to hit the like button as well. All right, you ready to check out some Joe Cocker, You Are So Beautiful? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. So do you know the song? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You are so beautiful. To me, can't you see? Happiness 
you bring like a dream a kind of light that shines in the night heaven's gift of me you are so beautiful to me Thank you very much. Sheesh. That was Joe Cocker. You are so beautiful to me. Short and sweet. Yeah, so what were your thoughts on Joe? I thought his voice was really interesting. Like, it was a very soulful, raspy, kind of blues-ish vocal, Mm -hmm. I felt like. But with this song, I feel like it had a lot of contrast because it had the softer pieces of the song. And then he would just, like, rip in there with that, like, gritty, deep, like more powerful vocal. So it was very interesting contrast, which I thought, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. And I think that plays into the performance of the song. And I think that's why it was so great was because he was emphasizing, as you alluded to really harshly, the you are so beautiful component Mm -hmm. and really grinding and diving into that because all the other stuff that he's talking about, he wants to come back to just highlighting you are so beautiful to me. And I Mm -hmm. think that that's why the performance of the song was so powerful because, you know, like you said, the raspiness and the the strength of that vocal is almost mm-hmm. uncontested. Yeah, you know, uh, we've heard a lot of obviously strong vocals on the channel, but the raspiness for him—I don't know if I've heard anything like it. Yeah, I was it's, like, Whoa. it's unbelievable, and um, that's what makes it so emotive, right? Yes, for sure. Especially from you know the male side of things, it's like so gritty, so raspy that you literally felt like he was, you know digging deep to perform this one mm-hmm. to say you are so beautiful to me and you felt like me anyways that he was singing it as he was really in love with somebody yeah for sure. and that's what made it such a great performance and i can see why people were saying that he's such a great live performer mm-hmm. because yeah so it's just passion and emotion in his delivery yeah and so raw feeling you mm-hmm. feel like it's a raw emotion that he's singing about in the way he can sing yeah for sure so i totally can re- you know resonate yeah. and understand with why people were saying that and why you have to check him out because he's so unique oh uh, yeah for sure and i mean i think that he did such a great job with it live too right like we were saying in the beginning sometimes it's a little bit challenging like are we does it make sense to start with a live version but i feel like for this like it almost made the song better because you could visually see all of that opposed to just listening to a studio version. Yeah, and also I think maybe the lack of clarity for his style of voice mm-hmm. does help even even more so, right? Like when his voice was kind of trailing off yes. in some of the sentences, it was kind of adding this touch of vulnerability. Mm-hmm. Yes. When he's, you know, like I said, trailing yeah. off and singing about this and, and you know, it's kind of like makes you feel as though he's being true to himself yeah for sure so i think maybe the live performance that's why it's not super clear it doesn't matter yeah like the purpose of this isn't to be like 
polished and super exactly. clear and professional. It's just more of like an honest, like you said, authentic delivery exactly. of the passion and yeah. emotion. Yeah. yeah. So I, I do know this song, right? You are so beautiful. I don't know from where, yeah, I don't know from who, but I do know it's, you know, I've heard it maybe, you know, shows, movies on the radio, something I feel like, like that. This is something else that's probably covered a lot. Yeah. And I think that like a lot of people have done covers because I feel like I could be wrong, but I feel like this was a really, really popular first dance wedding song for mm-hmm. a very long time. That would make sense. Yeah. Um, so I feel like there's probably like so many bands and artists that have covered it over yeah. the years. With that said though, I would have a hard time picturing anybody else doing this song now. Now seeing him do now, after it, after seeing I know. him do it and hearing him doing it, yeah. it, it would it would be very hard for me to say like this isn't his song. Yeah, you know. Yeah, even though he didn't write it, it would be yeah. hard for me to picture it any other way because yeah. that was just so powerful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed our reaction to Joe Cocker. You are so beautiful, and you guys can let us know where we should go next with Joe because I would definitely like to check out a little bit more from him. Such a unique voice and yeah. um, really a great performance by him. Like Sam said, short and sweet but it didn't matter it was Packed it wasn't punch it was it, powerful yeah and it really wasn't that short overall it was just so drawn out in the performance that you were so engaged the whole way through yeah. right so anyways if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button for us leave us a comment let us know where you want us to go next we always appreciate your insights make sure you hit subscribe hit the notification bell as well we always encourage you guys to come alongside us on this ride yes come the join m- us the more the merrier as sam likes to say <laughs> yes. so hit the subscription button notification bell Two more videos tomorrow. See you then. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.